The first images from India's Pragyan rover on the surface of the moon are just in. ISRO has just released the first pictures taken by the Pragyan rover on the lunar surface on day six of the Chandrayaan-3 mission. The Pragyan rover, remember, exited the Vikram lander just a couple of hours after that historic landing on August the 23rd. And now six days later, Despite the rover obviously having taken many pictures, it has been, uh, you know, uh, negotiating and navigating many obstacles. We now know that ISRO has sent us the first pictures. These are the first pictures taken by the Pragyan rover on the lunar surface. And these are among the most high resolution uh, images ever taken on the surface of the moon, which I'll come back to in just a little bit. But I want to go across to India today's Akshita, who's been tracking ISRO very, very closely from Bengaluru, from here and beyond Akshita. Uh, you know, two pieces of news coming in from ISRO. A, that the Pragyan rover has managed to negotiate a pretty difficult hurdle, a crater which was said to be about 100 millimeters deep. But the second picture is even more interesting. Apparently, the Pragyan encountered some kind of an obstacle uh, of, uh, you know, of a depth which seemed to be unmanageable. And therefore, our little friend had to hit the reverse gear and retrace his steps. That's right, Shiv. It shows you that, you know, it's not simple going around the moon. It's not as easy as taking a U-turn, which is why you had the Pragyan rover coming back, retracing its steps, essentially. The first picture shows this massive crater, and according to Israel, it's about four meters diameter. Mm. So that's too big a space, really. And if the rover had gone through, would have fallen right into that crater and would have been impossible for scientists here to pull it out. To explain to you how really the Pragyan works, it's extremely interesting to read about this, Shiv, because I was reading another piece, a report that suggested that the Chandrayaan-3, the rover, had actually managed to overcome one crater, which is about uh, 100 mm deep. Now, you'll be like, you know, that's barely anything. But this is a rover that's moving through such a complicated turf. And remember that it's not completely autonomous. It is being handled very carefully by the scientists in Istrak, in Bengaluru, on the outskirts in Pina. How are they doing that? Essentially, what the rover does is when it's going to go in a certain track, its navigation camera clicks pictures. And then that's beamed back to the scientists here, who then go through that, create a model of sorts, where they kind of essentially piece those pictures together to understand what the surface of the moon is going to be like. And they can do this only for the upcoming five meters shift. So what ISRO scientists have said is that in five hours, after processing all of this data, creating this model, they're able to move the rover in five hours only by five meters. That's how careful they're being. They're not leaving anything to chance. They're saying if we can predict five meters, then that's all the rover will move for the next five hours or so. So imagine from Friday to today, how much really the rover has managed to move shift and how much it's having to even retrace its steps, as we've just seen here. These are pictures that was clicked yesterday uh, yes. by the rover. Uh, so, you know, very carefully calculated moves that are taking place. And it shows you the kind of work that's going in and how back and forth the commands are going through using pictures and ensuring that with the most detail, scientists are going through the path of the rover now.